Yo, it's the end of the week. I'm here to wrap it up right. Talking about game and sports and maybe life. I ain't decide yet, so tune in to the show. Guess the parents is I I don't really know. I'm the Paris. I'm here to do it my way. Click, clap, bang on any troll, so don't press play. A new series. I'm wrapping up the week, so comment on the subjects being given. I don't speak. Ah, weekly wrap up. Yo, what's good, people? This your boy, Authentic973. This your Bullet Pass 57 and I'm back with another episode of the Weekly Wrap-Up. Got some Battlefield 4 gameplay in the background. This is me and my man, QJB, mobbing. We out here mobbing. Um, Jones wasn't with us. This gameplay, my man, K-Spade, wasn't with us. It was just me and Q out here. Out here showing out. On This was the 3... We on the... I was about to say 360. We on the Xbox One right here. So, this is why our ranks are kind of low, but we still beast it. But let's get into the weekly wrap up. A lot of things happened this week with gaming, a lot of things happened this week in sports. Um, so let's get into it. For starters, let's talk about 2K. 2K has released a uniform update finally that got the Christmas joints in there and a, and a bunch of other updates um, for the uniforms, as well as patch number four has been released for the Xbox One. I cannot confirm nor deny that it hasn't been released yet for the PlayStation 4 but I don't think it was out um yet so we you know if, if it is you know I mean my apologies but I haven't read anywhere that it was released for the PlayStation 4 but they said that it's gonna fix most of the major issues <laughs> yo we will see this is patch number four so you know what I mean let's let's be let's be optimistic and hope that it fixed the major issues that you know 2k was having Moving on, um, the new release for the past week was definitely t um, Tomb Raider that came out for next gen. It, it's kind of it, it was a port from the previous gen. They just brought it back up to the um, PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. They said it looked amazing. They said they they said that they added a few, maybe a few new uh, parts in the game. I, I cannot confirm nor deny. But, you know what I mean, if you guys want to buy a new game, that Tomb Raider game was great. I did play it for the 360, and I had a lot of fun playing that game, as you see your boy Beeson right there. Let's go. But, um, the, the big release this month is probably going to be Infamous, if you guys have the PlayStation 4. You know what I mean, right now it's real slow for next gen, so it's, it really hasn't been that many game releases. I mean, we're basically still playing, you know, COD, Battlefield, Madden, 2K. I don't know if you guys playing live FIFA. It's basically been those games this whole next gen. Unless you playing games like Rise and um, Dead Rising, Forza, Need for Speed, games like that. But it's been a it's been a real slow next gen to start, man. And hopefully, you know the, the games are about to start coming out. Hopefully, they pick up and be able to enjoy some you know a lot more games. Moving on, UFC released more screenshots. This UFC game is looking amazing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it as of yet, but it is, it is really looking amazing. Like the screenshots they are showing are supposedly um, actual gameplay. So, you know, I'm hoping that it is because that game is looking amazing. Like the characters are looking lifelike. <laughs> so we have to see how that uh, how that um, works out when the game is released. Richard Sherman took a lot of backlash for his post-game interview with, where he called Michael Crabtree a mediocre and sorry receiver. Also, um, Richard Sherman did apologize. He did say he did not in intentionally try and take away from his team victory and how well his other teammates played during that game against um, <clears throat> excuse me, San Francisco. But Richard Sherman also stated that uh, this... This beef between, I don't even want to call it a beef. This issue between Michael Crabtree and him started back at Larry, Fitz, Larry Fitzgerald, um, at a Larry, Fitz, Larry Fitzgerald charity event. And, you know, it was some crap about not shaking each other's hands. And I don't know, man. It's just, he said he went up to Larry, I mean, Larry Fitzgerald. He said he went up to Crabtree to, like, give Crabtree a five or say what's up or whatever. And Crabtree tried to start a fight. Like, Crabtree got brolic and wanted to start a fight. So supposedly they don't like each other. This is like um, part of the issue that those two are having. I mean, it's just it just seemed childish. But Richard Sherman did um, apologize for taking away 
taking away um, the spotlight off his team victory. And they played an excellent game. A lot of people were saying that Kaepernick didn't play well. Kaepernick, if they didn't have Kaepernick, I don't know. If, I don't know if they would even been in the game because the way Kaepernick was running the speed option, speed option. The, the read option. I mean, Kaepernick was basically keeping the Niners in the game. The defense, as my man Nate said, the defense did give up the, the two big plays that really cost the Niners the game. And, oh, man, um, I was about to say R.I.P. He didn't die, but goodness gracious, my prayers go out to um, um, Bowman. Oh, because that injury was just so ugly. If you guys didn't see that, I don't even know if you want to look at it, but um, hopefully he can... Get a, have a speedy recovery because I mean that injury was woo was horrific. Moving on, Darren Sharper, the former safety for the Green Bay Packers as well as the New Orleans Saints, was arrested for two separate sexual assaults, and they are saying that he is a serial rapist and was arrested. Well, this past Friday, not Friday that just passed, the previous two Fridays ago. And was released on two hundred thousand dollars bail, like, and I mean, it. They is saying they is really saying that Darren Sharper is a is a rapist. Like he is out there literally raping women, and he got arrested. And he's this happened in two different states. One was in um Los Angeles, California, and the other one was in New Orleans, Louisiana. So, I mean, goodness, I hope it. I hope he able to work this issue out. And it ain't true because I just don't respect no man that just sexually abuse or sexually assault women i mean we all know that women do lie so moving on the yankees sign i might say his name wrong masaro masahiro tanaka for seven years 155 million that's crazy um that's a lot of bread too but he's a pitcher from i think um japan and they signed him up hopefully they trying to get you know they trying to get back in that uh that um world series so maybe maybe he can be a factor. Josh Brent was found guilty on intoxication, um, intoxication manslaughter in the car accident crash that killed his Cowboys teammate Jerry Brown. R.I.P. to Jerry Brown. Josh Brent. I, and the funny thing is, I think Jerry Jones still got Josh Brent on our roster. I I think he under like one of them um not the pup list, not the physically unable to perform list, but one of them other lists. And I mean like just get rid of Josh Brent. He going to jail for like. <laughs> I want to say 180 days, they said, and he's going to have, like, 10-year probation. Like, get rid of this guy. Um, Microsoft was also winning news for allegedly paying machinima um, people for positive influence campaigns. I'm not hating. You know what I mean? I look at all this YouTube stuff like a job. So, you know what I mean? Anything people want to do to get money, you know, a lot of y'all might say, oh, he's a sellout because he blah, blah, blah. Man, listen, man, money is money. You need money to live. Like I'm not hating on anybody that's getting bread from doing from doing this, man. I mean, I, I'm a smaller YouTuber, you know what I mean. But I'm talking about people that's getting big money. Like you can't hate on them, man. In my opinion, you know, people gotta eat, people gotta live, man. Also, the Pro Bowl, the Pro Bowl had their dra their fantasy draft this past week. The Pro Bowl is on actually as I do this commentary. Um, and Roger Goodell said he is highly considering getting rid of the Pro Bowl because. The Pro Bowl sucks, basically. He said it's costing him a lot of money and nobody really, you know, really into the Pro Bowl anymore. As well as he talking about getting rid of the extra point. But I wish the, I wish the NFL would go back. Some of y'all might be too young, but I, NFL used to have like a, a a stars challenge where they used to run the 40 lift weights. A whole bunch of things like that. I wish they bring that back. But I'm your boy Authentic973. I'm your boy LaPaz57. Y'all can comment, like, subscribe. You see me and Q win ham. Y'all can comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate all y'all. Y'all know how I end my shit.